Do you think there's room for a third party? Well, hello, well let, me, let me just answer, sorry, answer your question. So it, it's really hard for Theresa May to hold a party together, which she has to do in order to be able to govern. Mm. But I personally think that she would be better at this stage levelling a bit. I think her problem is she, she keeps wanting to tell each part of her party that she can deliver for them, and she can't. Mm. She can't make the Remainers and the hard Brexiteers happy and do a deal with the European Union. And I think that she, at some point she's going to have to say, if we leave in a sensible way, this is as good as it's going to get and kind of, kind of come, come out fighting. I think she's been too slow to... Uh, do you think she might be in a situation that. where she brings something to Parliament, it loses once and she gets it... She gets something else through on the second I, I time. Think, I think the, the fundamental question you have to ask in a parliamentary system is do the people with the majority want a general election? You can have a general election in our system any time mm. if the majority party wants it. You tell me any Conservative MP at the moment who thinks a general election is a good idea. Uh, they're, they're none. Do you think the DUP thinks a general election is a good idea at the moment? They are in the pound seat at the moment. And the last thing they want is um, this Labour Party to be in number 10. Nobody wants a general election. So therefore, in the end, um, in the end, they will, they will have to find they will hang a on. deal to support. Now, actually, my personal view, what the most likely thing is, this is kind of cynicism about European politics, I think that it's going to be, it's going to be very hard to find a detailed deal which our parliament and the European side can agree to. I think everybody knows no deal is a catastrophe, and both sides know that. And therefore, the most likely thing is, but, but actually, the hard Brexiteers, the Tory majority with the DUP, and our European partners will want to respect the, the March deadline. So in the end, it will go quite close to the wire. There'll be some long kind of veal-based dinner uh, or, or whatever, and in the end, we, we will leave probably without doing a deal at all, simply saying the status quo continues until such time as we can negotiate what the new arrangement will be. And we might pay the money, but, um, but you can with the status quo for a period. And if that looks like it's indefinite, then the hard Brexiteers find it hard, but it's going to have to take, it could, could take quite a long time. So we don't leave the customs union immediately because we can't sort out the Irish problem. But we don't say we're going to stay in it indefinitely. We just say we'll stay in it for now. So we fudge it. And you sort of fudge it um, uh, going forward. And, and, and it's, it's kind of a classic European way to, um, to do things. And, and, we just, and we just sort of, I think from a business point of view, it's quite uncertain. But at the same time, it kind of could be a lot worse. The, the huge irony when you think about what's happened on that basis um, is that the only thing that's happened after you've left is that, because we're, on that basis you have the same customs rules and yeah. single market rules and immigration rules, the only thing which has changed is that, that we used to have some influence over them. And so the only thing which has happened is we're actually far from taking back control, we lose control. So it kind of, it's an irony, but of course that can't uh, last unless, um, unless you can change the immigration rules